Hey everyone, every travel outfit video I've ever personally watched is all about what to wear when you get there. But what about en route? What, a, what do you wear on the plane, the train, the automobile? I have been road tripping for quite a long time and I've started traveling by plane again. And today I have five easy outfits, almost travel uniforms that you can wear and be comfortable in on the plane in a car, on a bus, however it is that you are traveling, and that will also do double duty once you get to your destination. Be sure to check the description box because I will have options at different price points at every single outfit, and I do have the chapters lined up, so if you wanna skim along and get to the outfit you're most interested in, that is okay too. All right, outfit number one is my current personal favorite because I literally just wore it twice last week. We went to visit family up in Wisconsin, escaped the Texas heat, and we flew, and on top of that, because it was a quick turnaround, we flew carry-on only. So I had to be very precise in what I picked and I wanted pieces that would work there and in route. So everybody talks about a jumpsuit and says how great a jumpsuit is for travel until you have to go to the bathroom. Who wants to strip down naked and be completely vulnerable in a tiny, airplane bathroom, not me. But we all love the look of a jumpsuit. It's an all-in-one outfit. Well, I found the perfect solution. I found this two-piece set on Amazon. It is an amazing price point, of course, being Amazon. So many color options. I'll put the exact one below. I do find it runs a bit small. I will have all the sizing listed in the description box as well. I generally wear a size small, like this right now is actually an extra small. Be that as it may, I bought this in a small and I found the top was okay, bottoms are a little bit snug, and when we're traveling, we do not wanna feel squeezed and uncomfortable. It's already a stressful enough situation. So I did go to a size medium. I just like the blousier feel on the pants and the shirt, and I can then throw it in the dryer and not worry about any kind of shrinkage, and I can tell you, hasn't shrunk. Anyway, I like this particular blue color. It's not quite navy blue. It's not a bright blue. It goes with a lot of things. My go-to neutral color is an olive green, so it's easy to pair there. In fact, if you look at my feet, I am wearing some slip-on sneakers and a muted camo combination. So I love, love, love this outfit. What's great is you can wear the top separately with a pair of pants, jeans, something else you can wear the pants obviously with something else as well. As far as layering goes, I'm all about the layering. Right now where I live, it is in the 90s, but you get on an airplane and it's uber air conditioned. So I paired it with this extremely soft, not at all budget friendly, Rails Hunter shirt. I don't know if this exact pattern is available. And if I could find a dupe for this, I would so very much recommend it. I can't find a dupe for the Rails Hunter shirt. Not the exact softness of the fabric, not the lightweight feel to it, the breathability, the drapeability. This is a serious investment piece. I grab as many as I can during the anniversary sale. I also stock Nordstrom Rack and a few other retailers for more sale outlet prices, so I'll list those below. But it works great as almost like a lightweight jacket. You can tie it around your waist if you're a little self-conscious about your tummy area. You can wear it completely buttoned up and tucked in and it's a whole other look, maybe with the tank peeking out underneath. Either way, so many things you can do with this outfit. Outfit number two may throw some of you who are very adamant against traveling in jeans. And I get it, not all jeans are created equally. And again, I apologize in advance, what I'm about to recommend isn't exactly budget friendly, but I do like to wear jeans when I travel only if they're really comfortable. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is. These jeans I love so much, I have three pairs of them. They're the AG Ex-Boyfriend Slim Relaxed Jeans. I'm wearing them in a size 28 and they feel like butter. They feel so soft. They don't even feel like they're made out of denim. It almost feels like you're wearing a jersey material. That is how soft and stretchy and they just, they give. And the reason, I think you're gonna notice a trend that I'm not wearing shorts or short skirt. When you're traveling public transportation, I personally don't want any parts of my body touching any parts of the seat. This was even pre-pandemic. This was just not a thing I was into. I would always have something layered. So even if I had short sleeves on, I'd throw something on top. I'd wear long pants or a long skirt or long dress. I just, it's not my thing. So that's just, I need to establish that. Anyway, so the jeans are great for planes or for you know, a road trip, which is the, our current preferred method of travel that allows me to pack as much as I would like. 
And these are super soft. So even lounging around in a car for eight, nine hours at a time, these are very, very comfortable. Now, I decided to make this a little more of an elevated outfit. Maybe you don't have a lot of room in your suitcase, so wear your bulkiest things. We've all heard that. So I've paired this with a blazer over a graphic tee. Now this exact graphic tee is not available. I think I got this a few years ago from Walmart, but graphic tees are always big every fall. Everybody's stocking up. I'll pick a few and put them down in the description box to give you some options. You can even throw in like your favorite college tees. Throw some school spirit in there. It doesn't have to be a concert t-shirt all the time. In fact, pet peeve, I hate it when people wear the cool concert tees and if you ask them to name one song by the group, they can't tell you. So go with what you know. Anyway, I think if you're going to wear your bulkiest stuff, grab a blazer, specifically a knit blazer. So the one I'm showing you here is older from last year or even the year before. I love them because they have really functional pockets. They're a nice weight to them. They're not as structured, so you can be really comfortable and they don't wrinkle because they're knit. I did just place an order for the J. Crew sweater blazer. I believe it's called the Juliet. Everybody loves it, everybody wears it. It's a J. Crew staple, they bring it back every year. And so I finally bit the bullet and bought one. And if it gets here before this video goes live, I'll pop in a picture. If it's not here yet, just keep following me on Instagram and I'm sure I will style it for you there as well and in some upcoming fall style videos. But love a knit blazer, you cannot go wrong. And keeping with that, wear your bulkiest items on the plane or in the car. These are my go-to booties. Like not just travel booties, but go-to booties. These are the booties that I actually wore on the plane thinking to wear my bulkiest items. Just one thing, these will ding when you go through the metal detector at TSA. I have TSA pre-checked, so I was allowed to keep my shoes on, but when I walked through the detector thing, it dinged. So there's obviously some metal, maybe in the toes or in the heels, I don't know. So on that note, also make sure you're wearing socks, any kind of no-show socks with those booties, because you do not want to be barefoot in an airport. I think that's just, ugh. Outfit number three is my personal go-to choice in any kind of travel. Very similar to outfit number one, because it's joggers paired with a really comfy top. But these joggers are really specific. I will wear these and have worn these for travel year round. These are the Daily Ritual Tensile Fabric Joggers. The key here is the fabric of the joggers. And I'm talking about tensile. Tensile fabric, it's very drapey, it's fluid, it's smooth, and it's not as casual as the joggers that tend to look more like pajama bottoms or sweatpants. And I'm fine with those, I love those, but if you want something to do some double duty, then I really recommend this kind of jogger. These specific ones in particular are very budget friendly. They're from Amazon. I'd say they run true to size of just a smidge on the larger side. So if you're in between sizes, you can size down for the longest time. Um, I wear them in an extra small. I'm currently wearing them in a size small. And what's great about them is you can pair them with something really soft and cozy and comfy like I did with this outfit where I went with a material, again, that's really specific and it's called Hachi or Hachi Knit. And in this case, Walmart, I feel, has the most amazing selection of Hachi tops. This is the one of the newest ones. And just an FYI, when I was taking the tags off, they're made from recyclable fibers. Super soft, lightweight, flowy, drapey, and also happens to be tunic length, so you can also wear it over a pair of leggings, but because it's a thinner material, it can easily be tucked in as well. And then when you get to your destination, you can swap out the top and the shoes, maybe wear a little cami, throw on that blazer that you had on in a different outfit, I guess, and add a pair of heels, and now it's like more of a sexy date night. But speaking of shoes, we have to touch for a moment on these loafers. So I've said it before and I'll say it again. Walmart does a lot of things well, but where they excel, shoes. So I just ordered these and this is not sponsored, but if you're Walmart Plus, I got these in two days with free shipping, so that's kind of awesome. They're slowly releasing new fall items and this is one of them, these loafers. I swear, if you buy one thing from this video, these are incredible. So they're faux suede. I believe they come in two other colors has a little embellished buckle, which is actually functional, very on trend. That's all well and good. As typical from Walmart shoes, the foam insert, memory foam insole, however you wanna call it, great, comfortable. Check this out. You see this line? So the material on the heel 
is a very soft, pliable faux leather. So when you put this loafer on, there's no chafing. It immediately molds to your heel. It feels like you've owned this shoe for a decade. Unbelievable. I usually never wear loafers. I bet you rarely see me wear a closed in loafer because I hate that chafing feeling that you get at the back of your heel. Does not happen with these. But if you wanna wear them more like a mule, do you see how this is cut in? It just folds easily into the shoe. If you wanna walk around, you know how we do at the end of the day and you kick off the back of your shoe, you, you could just do that right off the bat. It's incredible. So I just wanted to point these out. These are so great to travel in and they're a little teeny bit dressy with the little crystals. So these are amazing. Outfit number four, we get to the classic influencer travel outfit. I mean, if you cannot laugh at your own profession, then when can you laugh? It seems like a lot of us in the influencing business gravitate towards this look and there's a reason why. It's comfortable and it's cute. Now, while I was going through my closet putting this together, I did realize I do not have an oversized denim jacket and I don't have just a plain regular oversized white t-shirt. So I'm gonna place an order for a couple of those when I'm done filming and I'll keep you updated on what I pick. But the typical go-to blogger or influencer travel uniform is like a white oversized white tee, black leggings, white sneakers, and then a denim jacket, a utility jacket, something like that. So I put my own little twist on it. The leggings, doesn't really matter what leggings you wear, but these are new to me. I've talked about them before. They're from Honey Love. They are more like shapewear leggings, similar to Spanx, and that they suck the things in and lift the things up, but different from Spanx, they're actually really comfortable to wear, and they're easy to get in and out of. I'm talking about, we're just gonna get real here. When you're wearing Spanx leggings, and they do an amazing job, I have many, many pairs of them, but then you have to go to the bathroom just to pull them down is like a, a thing and then it leaves the lines in your skin because it's been and then just tugging them up okay these just slide on and off and yet they still suck all the things in they also have really really good pockets and really good pocket placement which i think is key and when i travel i like having lots of pockets that's why i like wearing jeans joggers with pockets blazers with pockets and you want to tuck your phone in somewhere or you have to you're handing your license to the TSA guy and you just maybe tuck it into a back pocket. I like pockets. So I love the pocket placement on these. They're higher up at the very top of your hip so they don't add bulk in the middle of your thighs. It's a thing. Okay, then as far as the shirt goes, of course you could wear an oversized any kind of shirt. It doesn't have to be white. And I know wearing white while traveling is sort of tempting fate. But if you wanna go that route, this is a relatively new to me Amazon find. I talked about it in my steals and splurge where I was finding dupes for other things. And this is a very much free people inspired waffle knit, longer V-neck tunic. It's super, super soft. It is long sleeved. This time of year, you probably won't feel a need to layer something over it, but it does look a little cuter if you anchor it with a jacket. I don't have an oversized denim jacket and I'll be honest, I love my denim jackets, but I find them all to be a little bulky and restrictive. Too much so for travel. My go-to is a utility jacket. My all-time favorite one that you're seeing here is from Walmart. It is currently unavailable and I'll tell you what I'm looking for. So when you're shopping right now, you can maybe look for these things too. I like the adjustable waist, obviously. I like the idea of it also having a zipper so it could be a functional jacket instead of buttons. I like that there's not a hood, then it looks less like a coat and more like sort of an informal blazer look to it, or almost doubled down as a cardigan. And I like the longer length. I like that it goes under the rear end. It covers all the things. It's not always easy to find something that ticks all those boxes. And my preferred color is the military green, olive green, khaki green, however you want to call it. Old Navy usually has great ones. Castline comes out with some. Walmart currently has one, but it's a little bit different than this older version. If I can find some newer ones that are at some different price points for you, again, I'll list that under outfit number four. Of course, quintessential, pair it with white sneakers. I'm really picky about my white sneakers. I love these from Dolce Vita. They have a hidden, tiny little platform on the heel, so it lifts up your leg just a little bit, gives you a little more length to the leg. 
They don't require socks. And I like that they've already done the tie thing on the laces. So you get that cool, trendy, no tie look without having to figure out how to do that. So I think this is fantastic. Outfit number five is a little bit of a departure from the norm, but there is a good reason for it. And I feel like this works again for plane travel, road trips, and that is a nice, comfortable maxi dress. I know not everybody loves maxi dresses. I know you don't all like the, the billowy fabric and that it's not body conscious. I know there's a time and a place for body con. I know that I tend to not wear it. It's just not in my comfort zone and that's okay. If you love a tight dress, go for it. I think there's something great about a maxi dress for travel, especially like this one that's pretty versatile. You can add layers, you can add a belt to it at your destination. You could change up the shoes. I would definitely wear these with like tall boots. I think it would be a really cute look for fall. But as far as travel goes, this one has the pockets. The sleeves are adjustable. I can unroll these and make them long sleeved if I'm a little chilly on the plane. It's a nice flowy fabric. My legs are covered. I'm not touching any gross public surfaces. And it's, it's non-restrictive. If I'm sprawled in the front seat of a car, it's comfortable to be that way as well. And maybe you're going straight from the plane to maybe not a form, I mean, this isn't gonna fly in a formal event, no pun intended, but if you did wanna stop and eat in a restaurant, it works. So it's an option. I have traveled and will travel again wearing a dress. And again, it is bulky. So if you wanted to wear it at your destination, it's one less thing that you have to actually shove in your suitcase. As far as the shoes go, yes, I'm showing this with my white sneakers. I usually don't wear sneakers at the airport. Like I like to wear like kind of dressier shoes, like my booties. But when I was at the airport last week, I did try to do like a little case study. And I looked around at every single woman that I saw in three airports, there and back. Not one woman wore anything except sneakers. Everyone had some sort of athletic shoe, rubber sole shoe on. So that is not just the trend, that is what makes more sense. So I just wanted to put that out there. Even those of us that are a little hesitant to pair sneakers with different kinds of clothing that aren't athletic wear, that's the look, just go for it. Plus it's admittedly a heck of a lot more comfortable. Well, those are my go-to travel day outfits. I have quite a few other travel specific videos, so go do, so do go check the playlist I have down in the description box and I'll link it around here as well. I'd love to know if you have any questions. Please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one.